Hello everyone, I am Heba Hassan from GFX Academy. Today uh, I will ask about, I'm coming to answer a question I uh, always ask about uh, how to transfer or uh, just to change a video into a sequence or uh, make it into frames. Uh, that question came because a uh, new script while working you find a lot and a lot of scripts and a lot of files that you use here and the videos are making it really really uh, annoying and become heavy so how to change the video into uh, different frames in order to be uh, light and just really uh, smooth inside your work or your project it's very very easy so let's take that example for example as we know that new accepts the move files and the mp4 files so uh, in order to change any uh, video that you want to work on into a sequence or frames in order to work on just take your file and just have a, a quick preview as you see here this file is more than uh, 6000 frames so uh, let's take for example uh, the first 100 frames so let's change it to uh, 100 okay just to preview here um, from the first frame to the end of my first 100 frames and let's take them as a test so I want to render it just take the right node and in the side the file type your file so let's for example go to my home or um, okay home and just go to my document and make a folder called test inside my folder i want to rename my file for example sky dot hash two three four for example and dot and then the format of your file your frames your picture for example png you could change png if you don't want it to be png files you can change it from the file tab into any other formats you find here a lot of formats like exr like uh, um, header uh, if it is a header uh, for in our case we have PNG, EXR and Targa, TIFF um, and JPEG okay of course JPEG is the lower quality of these formats but EXR here is the highest quality because it has to 32 color uh, color space so it's a very full quality in our case, I just uh, take PNG as a test. So after changing your type, if you want, you have to change the type of your file itself. So for example, if you change it to PNG to JPEG, you have to change JPEG out there. Don't forget that. Okay, so after that, you have the data type. Change it according to your type. So here, I have 16 pet. In other cases, it will be change. After that, go to render and just to change or type the count of your formats, your uh, frames 100, and then ask it to render. As you see, it will begin to render very, very quickly. It's really smooth. It really has no um, no formats, nothing to do. Just uh, just render the the frames. Okay, it has one minute and eight seconds. If you go here to my file, document, test, there is test. Yes, as you see here, it began to make it as PNG file. So every picture of this is a frame of my video. So frame by frame. So it will be really, really smooth, really easy, and very, very light in my script. Four here is the number of my hash here. So you may make them 
three, four, five, as you like, according to your file. If we make it as a list to see, so here I'm seeing the progressing of the render. It's really, really uh, quickly. Okay, so now it comes to 88, 90, 92, 3. It almost done, as we see. Yeah, good. Now it's finished. Now I can drag this file again here, as you see. So now I can uh, preview my render. As you see, it began to be uh, very quickly because it's really, really uh, light in my program. It's not like the movie or not like the uh, the video. It's really uh, quick. So it will be very, very quick in my script, not like the videos. Videos will make my project really heavy. So now we understand how to make it into frames inside New York. Let's have a look inside After Effects. As you see here, I have the same video. Let's take it into account with the same setting. And uh, let's um, cut this video. I don't want it to, uh, to render the whole video. I just take first um, 100. Okay, maybe like that, 104, and cut it, trim, quickly. Now I have here this video, okay, in order to render it. Just go to Composition, Add to Render Cube, and go to Change the Type. I have the same kinds of formats so I have here the PNG sequence and the uh, JVEG sequence the IGF sequence and the TIFF sequence Targa sequence all of these are really nice uh, and of course EXR the highest quality but let's take the PNG sequence we have here the format if it has in formats in this case I don't have any so just go to cancel and okay now let's change the place just rename the video or the frames let's make it just uh, flying delete all of this and okay and now let's go to render it will render quickly about 105 frames. Let's search for the. Um, where is my file? Okay, one minute. Okay. Now it's finished rendered, and I have here my file, as you see, with the name of flying and then same number that I want of my frames at the same case I can drag the folder here and I can make it into a new composition now let's have a quick preview as you see here it really goes quickly smoothly and very light so it will really make it easy for me to work so changing your video into a sequence will make it really easy for you to complete your work without any annoying messages or make it really heavy to, for you to work. Hope you like this and hope you really that help help you in your project. See you next time. Goodbye.